Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projector Trains using Smart Technology Gain. And this right here is our Quantum Light Fusion. This is our rear and front projection screen blackout cloth material. Now, the sizes that these screens will be coming in as a 100 inch uh, 16 by 9 wide screen. And then we have the 146 inch screen that'll be 2.39.1. And this is the panorama. So the screen will be 5 feet by 12 feet long. Now, it's, basically, these uh, screens are coated with our new quantum light fusion uh, chemical which allows light to pass through the screen usually when you're using a rear projection screen you don't want a lot of light behind the back of your screen because that's going to cascade on the screen and distort the picture not so now let me show you the projector we're using I'm going to go around the back of this real quick I'm really excited about that that's a projector screen that's actually going into a customer I'm going to be getting ready to get ready to coat that real quick now if you have the projector a little farther back, this is a short throw projector. Of course, you're going to see the lens, uh, the light reflecting off the lamp onto the screen, but you won't have that problem if you pull the projector back. I have it close because I'm showing off the, um, the rear um, part of the uh, screen's ability. Uh, the projector I'm using is the NEC, and this is the M3-3000XS. Uh, this projector is about 3,000 lumens uh, usually. You might get a little glare, a little tiny glare off the projector, but it's not anything that's noticeable. But I would suggest putting the projector in eco mode or just um, just dim it a little bit. Now, you don't have to worry about losing any of the picture quality when you do that due to the fact that the screens are coated with a chemical called Smart Technology Gain, which, excuse me, allows the screen to become brighter as more light hits the screen. Now, as you see, we got tons of light here. My area is a mess in here. I to get this pin up before my wife gets home or I get murdered. Uh, let me remove this real quick from the front. As you can see there's the screen right there. It looks absolutely fantastic. We'll do this. I got several demonstrations set up, so I'm going to do this one first. Okay. And let's start this right now. I got you 100 books and ad pops up right in the middle while I'm doing this. Let's get this to work right. All right, there we go. But I mean, these screens look exactly like HD screen, HD, HD, sorry, TVs. I've had a long day, a long, long day. And there's the ad right there in the middle of the screen popping up. All right, so let's come back over here real quick. And I got to remove this. This is the one thing I hate going through this from time to time because when I try to do demonstrations, these little ads will pop up all over the place. All right, there we go. Got to start that one again. Can you see how amazing the picture looks? This is what you want to look just like an HD TV. You have plenty of light in the back of the screen, and the screen is not affected by it. Look how blue the skies look. Let's come over here on an angle game. Come over on an angle. This is using the quantum light fusion chemical. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Tell me that does not look like a TV. Sit back in my chair. Sorry about a little skipping there. All right. Never mind you, we have plenty of light in here. We have light here, we have light here, so there's light hitting the front of the screen and there's light hitting the back of the screen and look at the quality of it look how amazing it looks all right so let me come over here real quick and I'm gonna stop this demonstration right here let's come out of here real quick and let's go to the next demonstration I have set up Let's go to the 
Prince. I thought about when I built this screen, I was gonna put some um, some rabbit ear antennas, you know what I mean, a little clicker on the side. I think I'm still gonna build one like that. I said quantum light fusion chemical is absolutely amazing. Now, you see that ridge at the top? That's why I didn't get a chance to tighten the material, but as you can see at the bottom, it's very easy to tighten this material, very, very easy to use. It's actually very stretchable. Um, it is weatherproof, so if you want to build these screens for outside, you can. Now, I don't know if I didn't tell you guys the cost of this screen. Uh, a screen that's 100 inch, um, 16 by 9 wine screen would be about $560. I think it's around the price, $67. And a screen size of the, um, Sorry, the screen size of uh, five feet high, 12 feet long, the 2.3, uh, uh, 39.1, uh, I think that's 2 point, uh, sorry, 2.39.1 uh, panorama uh, screen is about $1,500. Sorry if you're seeing some imperfections in the screen. I didn't get a chance to fully stretch out the screen properly, but I'm actually in the process of building a bigger one for the backyard. The screen is actually going to be the 116 by 9. I'll get a chance to actually tighten it a little more, but this is just fast demonstration to show you exactly how amazing the screen is going to look in your home or outside or wherever, or wherever you're going to have it at. demonstration real quick. I got a movie set up. So you guys can do what this looks like the movies. Let's pause this real quick. Alright and let's go over and check out some Ninja Turtles. popped up so I'm gonna let that play so you guys can see exactly what TV is gonna look like on here Try to get that focus to work a little better there camera's been acting up a little bit took a bad tumble outside Game.
Well, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology, projector screens using smart technology gain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. Uh, the new uh, rear uh, and front uh, blackout cloth will be available on April the 20th. I'd like to thank you all for watching.